Welcome, it's Dawn with For Grace Creations, and I am just so excited. So I thought, you know what, why not? I'm just going to show you. While camping, we got to take time and go into the little town, and we stopped by some antique stores and just looked around the girls that were camping. And we went into some fun little gift shops as well. So in the Hen's Tooth, I found something to hold, just little things. Isn't that cute? It's just a glass jar in purple, and I thought it was adorable, so I got it because I thought I could hold all my purple buttons in here. Anyway, so that's what I found at the gift shop. Now, the antique store, Kalamazoo Antiques. That is where I found some really cute stuff. And I have to show you my favorite, one of my favorite things first. Let me back up. Wow. Oh, it is an old-fashioned spool that, as you can see, is very tall and chunky and wide and somebody already had put this little cluster of buttons and fabric on there. But I'm going to wrap my laces around it. And look, you could put a little candle in it. So there was that. And then the other thing I got is holding the stuff. So that'll be last. But I found this cute little spool, wooden spool with twine on it and a really old pair of scissors. And then a jar of baubles and buttons. Look, it's a pickle jar. This guy was a dollar. And then, look at, <laughs> these are all fabric buttons. Now, there's only a few antique and vintage in here, otherwise, they're more retro, maybe 80s, um, late 70s, early 80s. But they're all fabric. And then this jar here. And again, I have not found buttons in forever. So it was cool that I saw these and they were cheap. This one here has all different size buttons and she just put some fabric on it. But there are vintage and, and antique ones in here. Can you hear my voice? I, uh, I'm uh, almost over my cold but I'm that I caught from my husband while camping, but I'm a little nasally still. This is the last jar of buttons, and they are, all of them are vintage. So this jar cost me the most five bucks. I love the color of the jar. So anyway, there were those. And then, do you know what this is? I have no idea what this is. Um... There was a basket of them, and the gal just threw it in my basket and said, Here, you might like this. What is it, guys? It's old. Anyway, thought maybe you'd know. Look! Look at this. Oh my gosh. Isn't that cool? They are old, rusty, wonderful keys. Oh, yummy. Metal. Lovely. And then, okay, yes, I may have already gotten into this, but I found a couple of different um, chocolates, and I'm keeping the, them after I eat them because this is like a rice paper. And I thought this was a really cool gold paper. So I will definitely be using that. And then, I wasn't gonna show you this. However, the reason I am is because I opened it up and look, there's a poem on the inside. Isn't that cool? So I'll probably end up using this as well. And then, <clears throat> two handmade doilies. They're not too big. Good size, though. 
a very large white, real thin, because obviously old, tablecloth. Oh, that's going to be fun to work with. And then look at this. This is a very long rectangular, long and skinny, kind of like a table runner that someone has hand crocheted. Isn't that, wow, just anyway, too cool. Now, my most favorite find, it just looks like a drawer, right? No, look at the detail in that. And it is, oh, it's long. It is, uh, wow, from my elbow to the tip of my middle finger. So long and skinny. So that'll be fun to put stuff in. Yeah, and then I finally got a hold of and read Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, the original. And this one... is, I swear there was a date, somewhere, it was 18 something, 1897, 99, anyway, <coughs> those are my finds, thankfully I'm not coughing on you, because you're over there and I'm over here, but great finds, so fun, and I'm excited to try playing with this stuff. So, yeah, I just thought I would pop in and show you my fun finds. If you go thrift store shopping, antique shopping, and find cool treasures, let me know. Like, in the comments, what is the coolest thing or some cool things that you have found at op shops, thrift stores, antique stores, that kind of a thing? And was it reasonably priced? And then the other thing is, are you specifically looking for anything? Because who knows? I might have something that you are looking for that I could send you. Uh, you know, you maybe you have something that I am in need of. We could do a swap. But let me know in the comments. It's always fun to know what people are looking for, what treasures they have found. So I shall be back soon in another video. Thanks for being here, guys. I really do appreciate you. Bye.